everyone. My name is Eva Maria Albers. I work for the adaptive learning company Newton. Let me start off by saying how excited I am to be here. It's my first time in Tel Aviv, my first time in Israel, and I couldn't be more honored to be here. So thank you so much for the invitation. <laughs> Today, I want to speak to you about adaptive learning, personalized learning with Newton. Our mission as a company is to personalize learning around the world. The reason we're all here at EdTech Israel today is because we all know there is a current change happening in the industry. We could even call it a revolution. From the platonic age, when education was only accessible to the elite population, over the introduction of print to compulsory education, all the way to online education today. And I think online education, as we all know, increases the accessibility of education around the world, but there's more to it. Now we have data. We have data that we can use and leverage to actually increase the learning experience of every student and to empower both students and also teachers. We believe that data mining and education is especially interesting. Why? because we have a vast array of data. Every student that is answering a question, we can actually track an individual answer down to the concept level. We also think that data comes in very small chunks. So rather than just knowing how a student is performing in mathematics, we also know how he or she is performing in geography and even in more detailed concepts within a subject matter. And, last but not least, there's very high correlation when it comes to data and education. So the correlation of your understanding of one concept can give us very good data-driven insights to your understanding of another concept. As we all know, every person, every child, every student is different. When you go to your average classroom, we will have different backgrounds, be that educational, be that linguistic, but it could also be just different preferences in learning and understanding. Newton wants to find a solution to this problem and wants to personalize the learning path of every individual student. Now, how do we do that? While a student is using an online learning product from one of our publisher partners, we will track his or her performance. And over time, we will understand what the student's weaknesses and his strengths are, what his or her proficiency levels are, and maybe where she individually has gaps in knowledge. And based on that, we will give her content recommendations in real time in order for her as an individual to increase her understanding of a certain concept. So for example, you want to increase your understanding in geometry? Great. Based on what we know about you, you should now watch this video or answer this specific question set in order to increase your proficiency and also in order to realize your full potential. Now, adaptive learning, personalized learning is a bit of a buzzword. I'm sure many of you have heard the term before, and I'd just like to use a minute to quickly explain the difference of how we as Newton understand personalized and adaptive learning. Adaptive learning is often referred to as a very static and decision tree based model that is very simple. So uh, a student answers a question correct, he is then referred to question one, he answers it incorrectly, he is then guided to question number two. That would be a very, very basic example of basic decision tree based adaptivity. Now what Newton does differently is that we are a cloud based algorithmic system that is, updates itself in real time. So with every data point that we receive from a student, uh, we get a better understanding of his or her proficiency levels and of his or her strengths and weaknesses. What you see here on the slides is actually our understanding of a content. So we really make the content as granular as possible. We identify the interrelationships and the prerequisite relationships between the different concepts and with this basis can then calibrate the content and give the student in real time very detailed recommendations based on what she or he needs at any point in time. What we do as well is that we leverage network effects. So for example, if Maria today is struggling with a concept that Thomas struggled with three weeks ago, we can actually see what helps Thomas to understand something better and give Maria the same individualized learning path. 
Just to quickly summarize what we do as a company, next to the recommendations, the individualized content recommendations, we also provide learner analytics. These can be used by the student himself, for example, if he's uh, preparing for an exam, but it can also be used by a teacher. So Newton's role, uh, we really see ourselves as empowering to teacher to really individualize the classroom experience and individualize remediation. Um, learner analytics can be something that is based on the present, so this is your current understanding, this is your current proficiency level, but it's also future-based with something that we call predictive analytics. For example, we can tell you with what likelihood you will achieve more than 85% in next Tuesday's English exam. And last but not least, we work very closely together with publishers, so we can tell a publisher or a content provider how their content is performing. What's the instructional value of the content? Where do you perhaps have gaps in content? And how well are instructional and assessment items correlated? Newton is operating at scale. At the moment, uh, we have uh, 10 million students worldwide. To date, we have served 16 billion personalized learning recommendations. And we are currently active in more than 20 countries. Newton itself, just to give you a bit of a snapshot of the company, we're headquartered in New York, uh, but we now also have offices in uh, Sao Paulo, in London, in Beijing, in Tokyo, and actually, as of last week, in Singapore, which is so new, it's not even on the slide, <laughs> but it gives you an idea of how we are expanding. 80% of our staff are solely focused on improving our personalization engine every day, so 80% are fully, dated, fully dedicated to product and tech of Newton. I'd like to give you a quick overview of our partners to date. As you can see, these are publishers and content providers from all over the world, from Pearson to Ichizoya, who we heard speak this morning. And I would just like to make the point that we are really operating not only across several countries and languages, but also across several subjects. So from mathematics to science to foreign language learning, this is what makes Newton special, is that we really are subject and language agnostic. I'm sure one of the questions uh, that is now in the room is, this all sounds very interesting, adaptive learning, data-driven insights, personalized recommendations, but what are the actual results? Does personalized learning really work? And I would like to give you a few uh, quick examples here that we have observed. Let's start with the tertiary education, the higher education system. One of our partners is Arizona State University. The ASU has used a product um, that is preparing first-year college students for mathematics. Uh, 2,000 students have used a Newton-powered uh, preparation tool over two semesters, and these are the results that we saw. So we have a, a 11 percentage point increase in the pass rates, and we even managed to half the withdrawal rates which of course, as you all know, as a university, has major financial implications in recouping lost tuition fees, in this case, 12 million. When we look at um, college-level science, for example, biology, anatomy, etc., in the higher education space, these students have used a Newton-powered course that is an adaptive follow-up tool. So they use it in personal time to remediate themselves with personalized education. And we have here seen an average increase of 7.4 percentage points. Now, to give you an example of the K-12 space, one of our publishing partners is called uh, Triumph Learning in the United States. Their product, Get Waggle, is being used by grades 3 to 8 students in English and mathematics. And what we have seen here is a 20 percentage point increase in maths and 25 percentage increase in reading. So we can see that adaptive learning is doing something. It is empowering the student. Um, it is really helping to improve learner outcomes, which is, I think, something that we are all very interested in and also concerned of and see as a future step of education. But rather than just talking about quantitative, quantitative uh, efficacy, in terms of qualitative e efficacy, we were talking to our partner in Holland the other day, and they have actually realized that 83% of teachers have noticed that students are more motivated when using a Newton personalized course. 
So I'm very excited and I hope so are you about the power of adaptive learning. We have heard it all this morning. Tel Aviv is a tech hub. Tel Aviv is a startup nation. I'm incredibly excited to be here and I hope we can work, soon work together here in Israel. Thank you very much.